Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a Dragon Phone. This is kind of an ongoing repair. This is Bill's telephone and uh, this telephone had a board change in it and uh, basically we had a lot of obstacles that we had to overcome. Uh, this board that we're using did not have any voltage drops to light the eyes in the Dragon and they had the old LEDs, the larger LEDs that kind of took more voltage than the newer style and um, basically what it comes down to is we had to find a voltage drop on the board that would not affect the working conditions of the telephone and basically we think we've uh, come up with a decent voltage drop on the board here and uh, I'll kind of show you that a little bit and we're in this area here and we found a voltage drop um, and we also had to use an array of diodes it took a little bit to uh, come up with an array of diodes here that uh, would stabilize the working condition of the telephone and give us a decent voltage drop and um, kind of stable out the situation so that we could get the eyes to light in the dragon and I'm going to go ahead and show you um, the eyes in the dragon now and I'll go ahead and uh, turn the speakerphone on I'll turn it off, turn it back on, and that shows you a little bit of the eyes in the dragon. Now we also had a red light uh, in the dragon, and we're going to utilize that. I'll show you. Uh, not knowing uh, how this telephone basically worked uh, when it when it was first designed. Um, the most logical thing to do was to create a situation where the dragon's eyes lit whether the speaker phone was on or whether the handset was picked up. So there's a hook switch here on this board and basically it's not going to be here when we finish up the design and troubleshooting process. I'm going to go ahead and turn the phone on. You may hear a little dial tone from the handset here. Uh, but it's kind of far away, so we'll see what happens. But um, you'll see that the dragon's eyes light when the handset would be picked up. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, and I'm going to turn it back on. So the most logical thing to do was create a situation where the dragon's eyes lit whether the speakerphone mode was in uh, working and or the uh, handset was picked up. And so what we did with the red light was, you know, uh, if he's, he didn't have any option to turn the telephone off. This uh, telephone wasn't designed uh, with a switch that you could turn the ringer off or on and uh, he's going to have that now. We're going to have a switch we can turn the ringer off and on and since he's going to use this probably uh, at his business and when he's with a client and he wants to turn the ringer off well we're going to set this red light up so that it lights when he has the ringer off and that will be an indication to him that the telephone is ringing and uh, you won't be disturbed by um, the ringing of the telephone. So we're going to go ahead and show you that right now. I'll go ahead and ring the phone. And you'll see that the red light and the ball of fire is lit. I'll let that go one more time. And I'm going to reach here and I'm going to turn off the ringer. I'll wait for a ring cycle. And as you can see, the LED is still flashing on a ring. 
So you should be able to notice that when the ringer is turned off. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the ringer back on. I'll go ahead and answer the phone. Hang up. So now um, this telephone before when it was designed didn't have a switch for the ringer element and now it will have a switch for the ringer element and when the ringer is turned off the light will still the LED will still flash so that'll be an indication that the telephone's ringing we'll, we are going to go ahead and make a call with this telephone plug it into a regular line So basically, uh, what it comes down to is we're still in the design and troubleshooting process with this new board, and we're uh, trying to work out the problems where we needed a voltage drop, and uh, we needed to stabilize uh, what we the voltage that we were taking from the board, and we were able to uh, find a pretty decent voltage drop and then stabilize it out with an array of diodes. So basically, um, it's just an update video to show um, some of the process that we've made with this board. And um, hopefully we can uh, come up with all the situations that we need to uh, use this board and utilize it. Uh, we may have to disregard this board and go to a totally different situation. But uh, at this point, it's starting to look good, and um, everything seems to be fine. Now, we're going to have to use this board and, uh, you know, talk to, um, you know, use the telephone and talk with it and use the speakerphone option, make sure that we have a sound quality there that we can, uh, that we can deal with, and it's going to be okay. And uh, once we pass that point, that test that uh, the quality is there when we use this phone in working condition um, then we're going to go ahead and start installing the board in this telephone uh, but it's just kind of an ongoing process of a design and repair and troubleshooting to try to get everything to work properly and do what we need it to do uh, we also had a speaker change what you see here is a roll of tape that's basically just to funnel out the audio a little bit and it won't stay that way it'll be mounted inside the uh, telephone so it's starting to look pretty good and things are going our way and we're going to test this phone out in working condition and talk on it and find out what kind of quality it has and then we'll just kind of go from there so it's just a little bit of an update video of what's going on and uh, I'll turn the dragon on one more time. And then we'll turn the hook switch on like we were going to use the handset. I'll do that one more time. So anyway, that was the most logical thing to do, is make the dragon's eyes light, whether you are using the handset or the speakerphone option. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.